Well, greetings, friends. It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another collage. I got it in my mind that I should make a collage of each of my grandchildren in a car, <laughs> in the back seat taking a, a ride in a car, and I'm calling this one Aaron's Joy Ride. The biggest problem is finding just the right reference photo. Um, this one I had to edit quite a bit because the, I think it's the only really good candid photo that I had of little Aaron and, um, and it was taken um, while he and uh, a, another lady, a, actually an ambassador from um, South America, were taking a selfie. So he's got his face up next to hers and I had to edit her out and move his arm a little to make it natural in the car. But I think that the reference works here and he looks natural. Um, he would be better if I could have just taken a good photo, but he lives so far away and I have to rely on what little photos I get sent to me. And sometimes they're not the best. That's just the way it is. <laughs> so I at least found one that will work and I like it. As you can see down there in the right hand corner, I put it looked perfect at the time. The little Sun Made Raisin Girl uh, logo, and then realized, oh dear, that is a copywritten logo. A very noticeable and certainly um, recognizable. And so I covered it up. You know, things like uh, copywritten material. On a collage like this are fine if I'm doing it for myself for family but if I ever wanted to put the piece for sale or show it publicly that would be a glaring error that would um, that would send up all sorts of red flags with anybody who knows anything about copyright and copyright laws which is why I cannot use anything uh, Disney um, or, you know, published that's hugely recognizable. Because these pieces are cut out of magazines and they are cut into very small pieces, they are not recognizable anymore and therefore I can use them. I can even use words um, as long as it's not part of a logo also, and a recognizable one. I did take a Hershey's Kiss logo and just cut out the her that I was using, <laughs> that I was using for um, a girl's collage. And I think it might have been okay because it's just three letters and and it's not the logo it's just the name that I used but still I'm treading on thin ground at that point and I really need to be careful these pieces here are mainly for family. But it's always a good rule of thumb to watch out for a copyright infringement. I would want someone to be very careful not to steal from me, and certainly I am very careful not to steal from anyone else. And that's just the way it is. The laws these days, um, it's like it's professional courtesy we're all we're all artists we would like to be paid for our work um, we don't want people to steal it 
or use it without our permission, that kind of thing. So that makes sense. So you can see down there in the lower corner, I, I had to take out the little sun-made raisin girl, even though she fits so well with the color scheme and, and people and places, going places, that kind of thing. No, 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 can't, can't do that. That's too bad. Huh. This piece took a bit longer than you would think. Um, just putting together the car. There's so many uh, shadows and uh, variances, nuances and everything that, um, that that took many days. I think I spent 10 hours or more all together on this piece. And so um, that's a good part of my week um, when I have so many other things going on. Now I am doing the eyes, and I want you to notice that I'm not doing it over the top of the eye. I am doing it below the eye so I can still see my drawing. I have to cut out the whites of the eye, which are really quite gray because he's in the shadows. And then I'm putting a little bit of an eyelid there and rounding off the pupil of the eye or the uh, the iris and pupil and then I take the eyes off of the page and put them to one side so that now I can glue pieces right over the top of my pencil lines and it won't hurt a thing because the eyes are already cut out and ready to put on. I'm going to do the same thing with the lips. I'm going to cut them out ahead of time them and then move them to one side and put them on after I've got all the, um, the rest of the skin, the upper lip and the chin already put in place and then I'll take the lips and put them back in place. <laughs> this I have found is the best way to do it. Otherwise I am trying to cut around little bitty perfectly rounded pieces and it's just too hard. There, put the lips in place. Put a shadow on the nose and now it's time to put the eyes in place. There we go. See how easily that fit right in? Doing it ahead of time just made a world of difference, and I have found this um, through trial and error, doing it over and over again. This works best. The last thing I do are, you know, go around and look for a, a little pieces of words or um, little photos of animals and things that will just add to the picture. So, ta-da! Here it is. I've added, you see, a little child's face on his hand. I've got a little yellow bird on his elbow. I've got a few words like people and places. Life. 
I've even got some little family and children there on the beach in the window. And a woman diving into water on the seat, the back seat, you see. Birds and um, people and faces. And that just adds <laughs> to the whole collage experience. So there it is, all finished. What do you think? Do you think I captured him? I hope so. And thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. <laughs> it makes my day. Do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I so appreciate everyone who does. And check out some of my links. I have a Patreon page and um, social media, lots of things going on. See you next time. Bye everyone.